In this section, uh, Create Your Own DTP with Narration, you'll learn how to create a structured book with chapters, pages, sections, and synchronize them with narration, similar to Toby, and this will all be done in Obi. Obi is an audio recording tool for producing DAISY audiobooks. This allows you to create synchronized MP3s with voice narration. Now I'm going to open an example and add some more elements and features to the talking book, such as new sections and subsections. When you first open Obi, a menu appears with six different options. There's even a help manual if you want to delve in deeper. Uh, but I'm going to select Open Last Project to save time. The interface is split into two frames, with the table of contents on the left-hand side and the sections and subsections on the right-hand side. Notice also at the bottom uh, is an option for recording narration, just uh, exactly as it was in Toby. I'd recommend you look at Toby, the Toby tutorial, just for a quick review to record narration, but I'll give a brief example shortly. Another feature of Obi is that you can include pages to chapters, just as you would in a book. And again, you can either import WAV files or record directly into each page. As an example, I'm going to uh, select page uh, 2, or page 1 I should say, in chapter 2, uh, which you can see is currently empty, and record some narration onto the page. And I'll do the same for, for future pages as well. I'm now going to uh, edit the untitled section and re rename it to chapter 2. And then finally add some additional sections and page numbers to my book. As I add more sections and pages, you can see the table of contents changes in line with the new sections chapters. And these will also be carried through uh, when the DTP is exported and opened in Amos. So here we go, just uh, start recording, select the chapter 2 and type in record and narrate the text by pressing the record button. So it's monitoring the record and I press it again and now it's recording. Now as I do that you can see that there's a, a waveform appears into the page within the chapter. OK, that should be fine. Stop that. Now go to the next page and do the same. And record that. You can't hear what I'm recording unfortunately but you can see the WAV form is going in. That's it, OK? So now I have the WAV file. Files are completed. Uh, and when it's ready, just as you've been doing before, go to File and save the OB file to a location of your choice. Final stage is to go to Tools and export the book to a DAISY format. Once you've done that, and as you've done with previous DTPs, you can now open up, up in Amos to listen and navigate through the various chapters and pages of your book.